What's going on, boxing fans? Boxing fans! This is Jason Lawyer here with 10 Count Boxing News coming at you with another one. We're going to talk today and find out will Eddie Hearns let Anthony Joshua fight Cool Brett Pulev for the heavyweight championship of the world? Man, this is going to be exciting. This is some good stuff to talk about. Now, first off, we got to talk about how tough is Kubrat Pulev? Man, this guy is a beast, man. This guy will fight a freaking grizzly bear, and he might even win that thing, man. I'm telling you, he'll go right at you. He'll come straight at AJ the whole fight, and he can go 12 rounds all day long. Now, this dude's been fighting forever, and he is one tough SOB, man. I honestly think it'll probably be about a 60-40, uh, maybe tilting towards Anthony Joshua's favor, but Kubrat Pulev can can get the W over here. Now he is currently the IBF number one heavyweight contender in the world and rightly so that he deserves it man. This guy's uh he's tough. He's tough as nails. He's probably about six foot four, six foot five, a little over 250 pounds. Born in Bulgaria. He has that Eastern European man I'm coming straight at you and I'm gonna take you out style of fighting. He's not the heaviest puncher on the planet but man, he can go. He can go. He can go forward, and he's not afraid to sit there and trade all day long with some badass dudes. Um, he's got one loss currently on his record. That comes uh, from uh, one of the greatest fighters ever, uh, heavyweight champ, former heavyweight champion of the world, Vladimir Klitschko. Um, for, in his prime, by the way, when those two uh, threw down, Vladimir was definitely in his prime, and when he when he was in his prime, he was pretty much unstoppable. Nobody could touch that dude. Uh, we all know that AJ defeated uh, uh, Vladimir Klitschko uh, on a back and forth fight and uh, barely pulled that one off, but he did come out with a victory and send Vladimir into retirement. That's a totally different discussion, but uh, let's, let's get into it a little bit with Anthony Joshua. This guy is probably like if you were going to have a movie, right, uh, say about the heavyweight champion of the world, it could be a fictional movie, and you put out a casting call to find out who would make a great champ in your movie, uh, AJ could get that. He could he could take that interview and he could damn land that part hands down. This guy looks like the definition of what a heavyweight championship uh, boxer would be. I mean, the guy's built like a tank. He's a great world class athlete, great boxer, uh, got great knockout power. He's got great stamina. Although he does gas out a little bit in the in the later rounds because he's got so much muscle mass and he's got you know all the blood flow going through there, he does lose a little bit of that towards the end of the fights. But he can always come up with that big old knockout punch, man. He could get people out of there late, like we've seen against Dillian White a couple times and and a couple other people that uh, were, were great fighters. Um, you know he has a great win over, like I say, Vladimir Klitschko. Uh, Anthony Joshua, man, he's 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 awesome. He did uh, run into some bad luck with uh, my boy Andy Ruiz Jr., uh, who is a great great boxer. Started boxing as a little kid. Um, AJ went into that fight thinking he was going to fight a fat cholo, and when he got in there, he realized that he bit off a little more than he could chew. Uh, it kind of reminded me of when a when a little little young lion goes after like a little pack of hyenas, and when he gets over there, he realizes, oh damn. I'm in trouble now, you know what I mean? That's kind of what happened to AJ, man. He jumped in there with this fat Mexican kid uh, who actually is a great fighter. I love this guy, and he, he's got some great boxing talent. So uh, don't, don't get me wrong uh, on Andy Ruiz Jr., man. This guy, he's something special. But on that second fight, he probably did have a few too many tacos and party a little bit with that extra money that he made. And uh, that was probably his downfall there, but he's making a great comeback, and I really appreciate what he's doing right now can't wait to see this dude get back in the ring but anyways what we're talking about today is uh will eddie hearn let aj put up them belts against this number one ibf uh contender of the world on a kubrat pulev and uh i honestly gotta say i don't think he's gonna do it man i don't think uh you know uh you know eddie hearns is a great businessman i mean the guy is uh he's a genius okay and uh, I don't know if he's going to let his golden goose and Anthony Joshua 
uh, on a, on a, like a 60-40 fight. I don't I don't know if he's going to let him put put up that uh, that that risk for the amount of payoff. Now we got the other guy over here in the back burner, Tyson Fury, who uh, it doesn't look. I'm not sure we're going to get in this in another video, but uh, uh, is he going to really face Deontay Wilder for that third trilogy match? It's not looking that promising right now, man. And I know that the world wants to see a Fury uh, versus AJ fight, something terrible. I mean, I want to see it. I bet you want to see it. The fans, everybody in the world wants to see this fight, man. But we got somebody right now that he needs to get out of the way and a cool brat pull up. Now, it's not going to be no pushover, like I'm saying. This dude, he could really, he could really fight, man. You know, he's got uh, currently uh, pull up is a uh, 29 and 1 with 14 KOs. Uh, we got AJ at 23 and 1 with 23 KOs. And, you know, AJ has more knockouts, you know, and, and earlier in the rounds and this and that. But, uh, you know, pull up has more wins. And, and uh, you know, like I say, don't don't let this guy fool you, man. Don't let the frame fool you. This guy is gonna come at AJ the whole fight, and if and if AJ is gonna run in there and just keep trading and trading and trading and trading, Pulev's gonna keep coming forward. He's gonna take the shots and he's gonna be giving them back. He he loves going toe to toe. He loves fighting on the inside. He loves throwing big uppercuts. You know, uh, AJ is gonna have to kind of do what he did in the second fight against uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. He's gonna have to use that jab, 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 jab. And he's going to have to pop him from the outside, keep moving, keep moving, sticking and jabbing. Uh, he's not just going to be able to go in there and one, two, and then and this guy's going to fall over. That's that's not what's going to happen if they do fight, if they do fight. And honestly, like I say, I do think that AJ might be able to pull this one off. And uh, But I think it's like on a 60-40, and, and uh, it is very risky for AJ. It's very risky for Eddie Hearns. Uh, Pulev, he's been out there for years, man, and he really deserves a, a title shot. And, you know, I know there's a lot of British and, and UK fans out there that, that, uh, that uh, can't wait to see him fight Fury to find out who's the best British fighter out there. And uh, I honestly think that that's going to be really risky for, for AJ too, but that's going to be in another video. Um, we, we currently have, we got a great heavyweight division right now, man. I, I love boxing right now. Boxing is on fire. It's back, you know. I grew up in the 80s watching these guys go at it, you know, the Tysons and, and the Holyfields and the Lennox Lewis and, you know, Oscar De La Hoyas and these guys, man. It was, it was a great time. You know, you had Sugar Ray Leonard and Hagler Hearns, all this stuff, man. It, it was great. And I do believe that it, it has actually made its way back, man. We got, we got Canelos out there, you know. We got the Lomachinkos. We got the Alexander Usyk's. We got the Charlo brothers, man. We got some great, great, great fighters. Sean Porter, I mean, you know. It's, it's boxing is on fire right now and, and I'm just glad to be able to do what I'm doing right now and it's incredible but do uh, back back to the subject here one thing at a time Eddie Hearn uh, he's been stalling this fight along uh, with the Kubrat Pulev and Anthony Joshua and do I think that it's going to go down I think that uh, AJ might just drop a belt and uh, let somebody else come up and try to fight for that IBF title and I think what Eddie Hearn has probably gotten his back burner is he's probably going to want Anthony Joshua to face Tyson Fury because I think he's going to want a big cash cow money uh, just in case he loses that golden egg and loses his titles. Uh, I think that he's going to really want a nice payday for this thing and it might be one of the highest paying uh, fights in the history of heavyweight boxing. And uh, I feel sorry for Kubrat because I know that this guy's come up from the rankings from, from a youngster and uh, last time he had a real shot at the title was against Vladimir. He came up short. He, he really tried his heart out, and I think he was a little bit too young at the time for that, a little bit too unexperienced. But I think that he's honestly ready to put up a, a really good challenge for Anthony Joshua. And uh, sad to say, man, this fight was going to happen. I honestly think that it would be uh, in the books already, and we, we don't even have a fight date set up. I think uh, Eddie Hearns is stalling so that he could end up with something that's going to really pay him a lot of money. And it's sad to say it, but uh, I think honestly think that that's what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, sad to say it, guys. Sad, sad to give you that news and break it off to you. But, uh, you know, can't wait to see these guys get get down in the ring, though, man. And uh, that's all I got to say to you guys today. This is Jason Loy with 10 Count Boxing. And remember, after the 10 Count, you out, suckers!